This is the first in a short series I hope to complete on the subject of impossible things, things which leave us confused, befuddled or simply deluded. Most of us are familiar with non-sceptical people who invoke the supernatural to explain anything that they cannot understand. So I hope that I can show here that there are things which are not always what they seem but which require no supernatural explanation. So let me jump straight in with some reflections on mirrors. All of us, fortunate enough to be able to see, use mirrors. But how do they work? Some of you, I'm sure, are smugly sat there now saying, I know exactly how they work. Well, a good test of how much you know on a subject is your ability to explain it to someone else, quickly and simply, in plain language. So, imagine that a ten-year-old asks you the question, How come my reflection in a mirror swaps left and right, but not up and down? How would you answer that question? Pause the video here if you like and ponder for a minute while we watch some other people have a go. But don't forget to pop back. Right, it says car. Turn around, it says rack. Well, the mirror is reflecting it exactly the same. It says rack here too. So really, it's reflecting from its front to its back. There you go. And that's wow. all I have to say about mirrors. Flipping front and back. Mirrors flip front and back. They do not flip left or right, they do not flip up or down, they flip front and back. The hand on the east is the hand on the east, and the hand on the west is the hand on the west, and the hand that head that's up is up, and the feet that are down are down. Everything's really all right. But what's wrong is if this is north, your nose is to the north of the back of your head, but in the image, the nose is to the south of the back of the head. So what happens really in the image is neither the right nor left mix up with the top and bottom, but the front and back have been reversed, you see. That which is the nose on the thing is on the wrong side of the head, if you want to, all right? Now ordinarily when we think of the image, we think of it as another person. And we think of the normal way that a person would get into that condition over there. It's a psychological thing. We don't think of the idea that the person has been squashed and pushed backwards, forwards with his nose and his head, because that's not what ordinarily happens to people. A person gets to look like he looks in the mirror by walking around and facing you. I had a Google on this topic and was surprised at the results. Wikipedia was far from crystal clear. Other sites go into elaborate detail about X, Y and Z axes and it left me to wonder why something so ubiquitous, so everyday, was so poorly understood. So now I shall attempt to explain mirror reflections to you. But before I talk about the mirror, it is important to understand how we actually see things. We see things because light bounces off objects and into our eyes, where it is focused on the retinas at the back of the eyes. Our brain's visual system then has to figure out where all that light is coming from. It uses binocular vision and parallax to provide depth perception so that we can see in 3D. The frequency of the light is detected by receptors in the retina and used by the brain to distinguish colours. And the intensity of the light is used to distinguish between brightness levels. As a baby, our brain learns how to make sense of the world around us, and every day, without us consciously thinking about it, it is constantly relying on experience and pattern matching to tell us what we're seeing. And it is very easy to fool our brain. Optical illusions exploit the normal image-forming functions of the brain to do just that. So, what about what we see in a mirror? Well, of course, the first thing to say is that we do not actually see anything in a mirror. Our brain is fooling us into thinking we see something there. Light is being almost completely reflected by the mirror. There is nothing to see. So what is going on? As we have seen, the brain has to interpret the light that is hitting the retina. And this is no different when light bounces off a mirror into our eyes. Our brain has no way of knowing the light has been reflected off a mirror. It only knows about what has been received by the eyes and so it interprets the light as if it has come straight from the object or objects. Our brain simply, or not so simply, does what it always does. It uses binocular vision and parallax to determine where it thinks the object must be and provides us with a mental image of that object. It fools us into seeing the object inside the mirror, at the same distance inside the mirror as the object is actually in front of the mirror, because that is where the brain interprets that the light has come from. If that does not explain what you see in a mirror clearly enough, how about imagining this? 
You have a makeup artist paint you a face over the top of your own face. Not just foundation, but eyes, lips, the full Monty. You then run pell-mell into a mirror, leaving a lasting impression. That is what you see in a mirror.